Alright, so we're back here. Silver, I know Chu, game one. It's been 20 minutes since the supposed start of this particular series. But because of a bit of a connection problem, we're going to have a bit of a slight delay here and there. It should generally be okay. We'll speed up to the end of the day. It's already 9 p.m. here, uh, close to 9 p.m., 15 minutes to that. We should be able, to, be able to expect this whole series to end by about 9.30, and we should still generally be on schedule. I think, I mm -hmm. hope, I feel, I pray. Yep. It's Valentine's, it's Valentine's Day. Day. Exactly. Oh, oh my right. god. Oh, we are we are on the same page, we bro. Are we are yeah, world. let's start singing lame songs all together again. The champion. This is we cool are shit. the ones forever alone in this cold something. <laughs> there are people dating. It's making my heart cry. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> the chemistry, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the chemistry of Abel and Lark is just over nine thousand. Indeed. Okay, thank God they're gonna go back into this game, and it's starting to look really good in the hand for Cipher. Look at that. Oh, finally, a bit of a RNG coming back for him here. Yep. He's probably just gonna go ahead and hold on to the toilet drink and keep spamming out the. Uh, I was about to say Soul Assumption. For some reason, I was thinking of Ragnarok suddenly. I don't know. Yesterday was Pokemon. Today was Ragnarok. <laughs> I don't know what tomorrow is going to be, but either way. Today's uh, Valentine's Day, bro. Yeah, he's he's going to Soul Tap. Soul Tap? I mean, Life Tap here. Soul <laughs> if, he, if he wants... Uh, I mean, Soul in the, Tap. In, two mana. Picks your soul yeah, out. Exactly. Yeah, during turn two. And by turn three, he's going to be able to uh, throw down the 4-8, I think. With the Drake, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's gonna be able to throw down a four eight in the next turn, which is actually gonna be pretty good. Four eight or four seven? I don't know. Um, Man sucks. Okay, it's still first turn, and uh, this is not a lag. He actually just gonna be the Annie there. Mm -hmm. Pretty good stuff happening here for Silver at least. <laughs> I want to see a turn two upgrade. <laughs> Too bad, unfortunately, <laughs> Item Shoe is not gonna, you know, be able to. Coin it out. Play that out. Yeah, 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 you can, you can. Yep. Turn so 3 already? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Frothing Berserker comes out. That's actually gonna die already. That's. That is. Oh, other... top deck Shadow Bolt. That's like a free kill. Yeah. I actually think that he should just coin Drake. Doesn't even need to worry too much about that. Um, Frothing Berserker. Because he can always deal with that. The Drake's gonna be a 4 8. Or is it? Yeah, 4 8. And look at that. Instantly uses Soul Fire. What's he gonna lose? Oh, oh that's an that's expensive card. card. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Tanky especially, and all. Mm -hmm, especially when you're trying to play the control game, you don't really want to uh, lose out on your taunt. So that is actually something you don't want to have uh, lost to a soul fire. Unfortunately, here there's really nothing much that I'm sure can do. It's just gonna throw down the Rafi weapon smith and go for phase. You know the way that warriors work. They're just gonna keep going for phase. Make sure that the that the uh, warlock is not going to be comfortable with life tapping for extra card draw, but looking at it, at it as it is, Sephora is already very very far ahead in terms of uh, the card advantage, and he doesn't need to worry. Look at that, the four five just runs into the three three and can't really do anything. I'm I'm guessing at this point on, Item Choose just think of throwing down the Arafi, not Arafi, sorry, the Arcanite Reaper to kill off the four five. But I think the the Ventrico could actually, oh. Interesting play. I guess he just wants to get the 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 the, the warlock as soon as I mean the not the warlock sorry the Drake as soon as possible. Yo, here comes the mountain giant though, and that's gonna be a five drop mountain giant. It's just looking so sexy. You're gonna play the eight eight straight up, and that's one stone tiny there. You guys, you guys, you guys just remember tiny from Dota? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Tiny, that's right. Wait, is it called Tiny or was it called Pebbles? Pebbles is no, no, on, bro. What the? On. Yeah, Pebbles is on. Oh my god, this guy's so salt on Tawn. <laughs> Sorry, man. My I, I kind of <laughs> fun fact. I kind of gave up on. Well, yeah. I, I think the, I think I'm not supposed to say that, but uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. Dude. He's gonna play Watcher Argus here. Um, I would say do not defend the, the uh, giant. No, he doesn't need to do that actually. Yeah, I uh, I would have saved the giant and hide behind. The washer, but look at that man, a bit of a remake and all of a sudden, Silver is oh, in a very good spot. Mm -hmm. Well, from the get-go, he's actually the better... I, I mean, if you look at the, the way that the decks are matched up and the classes, he's, his Warlock is is the one with the upper hand. He has a higher chance of winning as yeah. compared to 
uh, Ainam Chu in this kind of situation, he will be able to at least take down the yeah. mountain giant. You, but yeah. the mm -hmm. problem is he's already taken so much damage and Sifir still has a lot of uh, you know plays available. He can always silence his Ancient Watcher if he, if he wants to start attacking face and put a little bit of pressure on the enemy, but I think he actually just gets a Twilight Drake here. Yeah, that's actually even better for him. Dang, where did all the execute go Ooh. in this particular game? But look at that. Wow, okay. Mm -hmm. That's pretty big right now. So he did life tap into a Cobalt Geomancer. He can again drake this up, and that's gonna be a total of a four um eight again four and eight, yeah. yeah, that's just ridiculous. Of course we wish the watcher <laughs> can attack Silver, but he can't. Yeah, Silver. So Come on, that's just funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's like that's <laughs> okay. He wants to win this so bad. Oh, Blood Knight. Okay, wow. you know what? Yo, oh, Ventricle Mercenary. Yeah, you know what? He doesn't even need to care about uh, most of the thing on the board here. He can just basically win this game. Hellfire, straight up. Is he gonna silence? Yep. Yes, that's he a should. that's he a should. Watcher that can just nicely slap people's faces. He's, he should have ended with Watcher though, but anyway. Oh, he con I, think, I think he conceded. <laughs> wow, yeah, he did, he did. The BM right. concede though. <laughs> well played, I, I gotta say, well played by Cypher. I mean, hands down, he is definitely the better... Uh, matchup in, in in this match because he was the the warlock the control lock in that sense against the uh, mm -hmm. what what kind of felt like a medium range kind of warrior but unfortunately it just didn't work out he uh, and of course again he didn't get his executes as compared to the previous game yeah it didn't that's just sad so it's uh it's just a bit sad that the remake actually just consolidated Silver's position but again you cannot blame him because if it wasn't for the remake he would have gotten free win already since Inom Chu is the one who's you know just hanged and lagged out of the entire server but both of them kind of disconnected so that's fair and that's it um enough said about that now it's gonna be up to the second game between Silver and Inom Chu what do you think Lark who do you think is gonna be oh say sorry first first of all first of all what do you think Inom Chu mm -hmm. is gonna play well, the first game he went warrior. He's gonna have to go against the warlock. Uh, his only other it seems like he's gonna go for rogue though. His other decks was a warlock. I would have actually just gone with the mirror matchup. To be honest, I don't know how the rogue is gonna fare as well because the rogue in this kind of situation still feels a little bit weak in my opinion. The rogue, yeah, it, it does feel a bit weak here. But I, uh, I'm not sure has a pretty decent rogue. If you look at his deck list, he has a starting good starting hand. Yeah, and it's got fantastic, fantastic starting and going second, and also the Fire's Ringleader. Wow, Shadow Step as well. Hmm, this is just gonna be so disgustingly good. But there's an interesting play he could. And a Yufu Brewmaster. He could uh, the Fire's <coughs> Coin, the Fire's Ringleader, mm -hmm. Shadow Step, the Fire's Ringleader again. Turn Next, two, turn. Yufu Brewmaster, and then the Fire's Ringleader. No, you cannot do that because turn two you will not have enough mana for that. It so does. the Fire's you know, Ringleader will only be. That shadow step, cost. bro. It, does it does it stay forever? Does I, it stay? I think it I think it stays. I'm not too sure. We'll, Let's we'll find out. Yeah, we'll Doomsayer is we'll not gonna be the player. Definitely, coin defies ringleader. He's gonna do that. Shadow Either way, step. it it only makes sense if he shadow step this turn. <laughs> you know why? It'll, because it'll, sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, it would be so fun if he actually shadow step and then <laughs> there'll be like three minions on the board already. It's pretty awesome. Not more than three, right? There'll be like um. Oh, yeah, three, three. three. That's right. That's yeah. right. Because the guy actually came back home. Yeah, he might actually want to deal two damage first. Silver uh, actually is a lot of trouble, man. Yeah, but he's gonna he's gonna attack. Uh, don't don't hero power here. Come on, you kind of have to see the if the um that might he doesn't see the, the love in the air. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I would have I would have played the Yufu Brewmaster combo straight up. Yeah. Well, yeah, I would have done that. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, the Yufu wouldn't really I don't know I just mm, mm, the silver gonna life tap again I think he no, might no, as he well should, he should watch her here yeah he should watch her he of can course. he can Argus the next turn but I think uh, he's his thought is to Drake after I mean Drake in turn four which actually is also not a bad play but I think he's a little bit afraid of uh, turn five assassinate yeah. Or, well, well, actually, he's going first. What, what the hell am I talking about? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think he should be able to get it out for a while. But um, right now, even if he shadow steps, he may not have the perfect combo or ready. It's a bit sad that that's gonna be the case here. Doomsayer comes out. Okay, and it's gonna. Yeah, this is actually a pretty, pretty interesting play. Uh, I I guess. 
Can Sulfur kill it? That's uh, the question. Yeah, of course he can Soul Fire and it's gonna be a bit of a great loss for him. Here, Sulfur is actually... Leroy? Uh, are you serious? Gonna play Leroy? He can! He can actually leave right here. Because uh, he can... Well... I mean, the thing is... He has to Leroy no, and no, Soulfire. Yeah, that's what I say. Yeah, he doesn't... Yeah, it's kind of ways. Yeah, he should just tap. So this he's Doomsayer actually... plays... Sorry, sorry, Locke. Please carry on. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just talking yeah, too much. I'm he's, from. He's gonna be able to... <laughs> no, he's gonna be able to get the Drake out. And it's gonna be so huge. And I don't agree with the... With the play of the... I know, I'm sure. Yeah, from Inom Shu there. That was actually very interesting to see that coming out. But he's actually doing a, a substantial amount of damage already to uh, Inom Shu. Oh, Shuger. those daggers, man. Yep, those daggers are going to do a lot of work. But uh, Sifir needs to draw his Hellfire soon enough so that at least he can clear this board. Because after this, he's going to be able to. Oh, shit. You know what? Even if the Drake comes out right now, it's going to be a turn fire assassinate straight up. I'm telling you. Nomchu's got well, us in the back. No, no, he doesn't even need to assassinate. He can just Iron Beak Owl. That's gonna be a four-one. He just runs his dagger through it, and then uh, oh yeah, that's and it's over for him. Oh okay, so far okay. At least Silver's gonna be able to address the uh, knife job. But he loses Siphon Soul. Oh my god, that's actually so expensive. And he might yeah. actually think about so um, firing something else here, and that's uh, a bit of a waste again because he's just got so much good cards in his hand, and. Yep, it's gonna be an assassinate straight up, and I guess it's a bit of a waste, like you said. It could have been the other way, and well, he would have, I don't know, he wouldn't have any mana left, so it's it's about the same, yeah. I think he's just going for the quick rush down, and it's actually paying off very, very well. Look at this. This turn, he has to definitely heal himself and play the the, the taunt because uh, he can't he can't do anything. I th I think him just trying to wait for the for the mountain giant. Like if he chose the mountain giant now, mm -hmm. uh, I guess if he plays the mountain giant now, will it die? No, it won't die. Yeah, it won't die. It will probably still not. Yeah, it will be. It will be able to stay alive. Uh, depending on whether or not Ainam Chu gets a second assassinate, which he has two in his deck, and that's kind of the reason why I prefer keeping the assassinate because you can use it for big things like that. The Drake play there was kind of interesting. Ooh, he actually loses another con. That's actually. That's kind of bad. Yeah, right? that's yeah. very bad. He loses Sign Free Protector. That's completely ridiculous. But here comes also Ooh. the Giant already on the board, and it seems Conceal. like. Oh. Wow. Okay. She's if it. Dead. Yeah. No, it's okay because there's still gonna be the Taunt coming from Defender of Argus, and Lord Jaxus is gonna come out. So if he's able to wait oh, okay. till turn nine, yeah. I believe he has Heals. got a pretty good chance. Yeah, he should be able to survive this. This ordeal is gonna be really hard but Silver, you Ooh, need to that was close. fight through what the 9 damage in the face oh my god that just gave Ainomchi a new face <laughs> that gave, that just gave a new face. what the hell that was a very interesting play he can silence here oh eviscerate though um can he can he kill Yes, he can. Uh, yeah, he got it. He got it. He can silence the giant. He'll run the 4 point do the other 4 point the, the last 2 damage. Yeah, yeah, but the yeah. thing is, he doesn't have the mana for that right now. So you're going to have to wait one more turn. <laughs> yeah, he should... Yeah, to be honest, he should have actually played that a little bit slower. Uh, at, least, yeah. at least he will be able to... At least the viewers will understand. I mean, just kidding. Yep. We got smart Sif viewers, guys. Sifir... <laughs> Life Sifir tap. is dead. He's dead. He can't guys. do anything. He's staring at Jerexus. Jerexus is saying, Come on, man, you're gonna survive one more turn for me. And he's like, No. I'm nope. sorry, he cannot do this. The other way he can really go about this is to deal a lot of See death. Bye. This is just such a coward way to die. Wow, Inom Chu pulls it through, man. Yeah. That's kind of uh, interesting. Inom Chu leveling up. One is to one. Silver one. Inom Chu one. And it's uh, it's gonna be Inom Chu's rogue deck. Now, Silver will have the luxury of choosing between his shaman deck as well as war deck. Let's just examine it all here. Well, uh, against the rogue, I think his better option would definitely be to play the uh, the sh shriek? Yeah. shriek, the shaman, <laughs> what the, the fuck shaman, shriek? The, the the shaman, or where he could just go for face and play the warrior because he knows that the rogue doesn't have taunts, and um, I think he should, in terms of like the rushdown race, the warrior is probably in a better position. Yeah. But a lot of his cards are kind of interesting. He has things like Harvest Golem as well, so I don't know. Maybe maybe he wants to be a little bit more safe and play as a shaman. The mm -hmm. shaman uh, uh, plays on a lot of the the card draw. 
and that's why he has the gadgets and auctioneer in his deck as well. Yeah. A lot of yeah. spells as well as that. I'm hearing a bit of a feedback. Feedback? Yeah, it's from you. Can you hear it now? Uh, yeah. It's very that's soft, weird. but I can hear feedback from you. You're gonna have to try and solve it out there. Oh, you picked the wrong deck. Yep. Oh, he <clears> uh, the wrong deck. It's okay. He's gonna remake again. <laughs> Damn, yep. so much remake in this particular matchup of Iron Armchair and Silver. The good news is, guys, they'll never meet each other again. I promise you that. Because even if they both... Uh, they will never qualify for playoffs together, and they're only going to play in the group stage once, so they will never meet mm -hmm. each other again. So don't worry about it. That's... Whoa. Wait. That that quest actually works for... Uh, for PvPing with friends as well? Oh, what quest is that again? The win any win seven games in any mode. Didn't they how, did not say any mode, bro? Do you not understand any mode? No, but I thought that it that that usually doesn't apply to things like bot uh, bots and um uh, what do you call this and uh PvP. Usually it's just for things like arena and and uh you know mm -hmm. ranked or just public so. Anyways, enough of that talk. He is actually gonna go with a shaman deck. Yep, a shaman is definitely gonna be uh, much more better off against this uh, rogue. But again, his rogue is actually kind of very scary. He has a lot of uh, mm -hmm. burst down potential. Look at that Ragnaros already in the starting hand. Conceal actually, that previous game was quite a big factor. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, it it actually helped him turn the game around. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen here and. Uh, Hopefully, one of these players is going to be very satisfied with whether or not they win. Oh, uh, Gadgets and Auction are already in hand for our item shoot, so yep. we'll be able to use that. That's uh, that's going to be a pretty good starting hand here for Silver, I feel, because of the Feral Spirit. But other than that, he doesn't have anything, not much juice left in this one. So mm, let's just see whether he got appropriate mentorship coming from Carol, who I believe taught him most of the Shaman tricks he has right now. <laughs> Interesting. Well, he got really lucky. He got a quick um, spell damage totem. Yeah. So his spells are gonna do a lot of damage. He's just gonna use his. Uh... He's probably gonna die. <laughs> it will die for sure. His uh, unbound elemental is gonna save him at least uh, here. Oh, he's actually gonna. Use oh, it's gonna heal it up. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that, man! RNG. <laughs> Out of all the totem in the world, he got the one that would save the spell totem. That, that's actually pretty funny to see that actually happen. The unbound's gonna be so good next Ooh. to it. Yeah, Dooms? I think not. Wow. wow, look at that, Doomsayer! Interesting, so he opts to go for the quick Doomsayer play. And it's good because right now there's nothing that Silver could really do. Mm -hmm. It's just effectively wasting his turn 4. Well, it's it's definitely good for Item Troop because mm -hmm. he can play minions now and there's really nothing that uh, Cipher can do. Wait, what is he thinking? Uh, okay. I think he wants to. Huh. He wants he to wants save to his minions. Save the coin. I think. With For the gadget, yeah. Auctioneer yeah. To get some card draw, and then he could actually shadow step that back and I don't, know, I don't know what what kind of play that that's actually gonna offer for him. I think he, he is just being a bit one. greedy because yeah, of the uh, the coin greedy. into the auctioneer. That's like a free card for him. He. That's a bit greedy, and I feel that it may not be the best play here. Now it's mm -hmm. it's an unbound elemental at three five with a weapon in hand. Even if you play the gadget on gadget sun auctioneer, how the fuck you pronounce that bullshit? Anyway, he's probably gonna gadget die. Gadget sun auctioneer. Gadget the thing sun. is, he, sh yeah. mm -hmm. he should have actually just played the gadget sun in the previous round, because yeah. either ways, he has another five drop, which is the azure rig. So, and he he actually got really lucky with the uh, with the draw on the what do you call this the. Assassinate. Up, 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 up. Assassinate, exactly. So, I think he was just a little bit afraid of keeping it. He, the, the thing is, he wants to keep it alive, and it would have died to the unbound elemental as well as the Stormforge Jax. Yeah, and now it seems like uh, he can go for insane card draw. The thing is that he needs to be very careful. I do believe that he can play Eviscerate here as well. Yes, he can, and that should be able to take care of the Mana Tide Totem. He's gonna coin, or maybe even backstab. Uh, he's got a lot of spells to choose from. I mean, I mean the beauty of Rogue really is the fact that it's got so much low mana spells. Yep, exactly. And, whoa. Wow. Yep, he's oh, gonna be... He's gonna use everything here. 
No, no, no he doesn't okay. need to. He should just save it. He's actually at a good spot now. Look at the amount of cards he has in hand. and Probably Sifrin gonna get killed though. Yeah, he can kill it off. Oh, I would actually just... Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's okay. It's Unfortunately, he doesn't have uh, the Unbound Elemental anymore, so he can't mm -hmm. really combo that. But it's a good thing he gets rid of the Gadgets and Auctioneer. The thing is, the that auction, that uh, Azure Drake of his is going to die as well. Yep, now he's going to backstab as well as SI7 Agent, and that's going to be a complete 4 damage on the Azure Drake. It's probably going to die. And on For the sure. other hand, he can also... Oh, there we go. Knife Jack mistake. Yeah, should have played the Knife Jacks first. Yep. Oh, he gets lucky he, though, yep. at least with RNG. But he wastes another dagger though. Yeah. Could have had two daggers, at Could least one to the face. Dead one damage might bite him in the ass. Let's just see how this is going to turn out. But that's it. Um, It's going to be 7 mana here for Lightning the Shaman Sulfur. Lightning Storm can be used. Uh, The bad news is that I feel that Item Chu has got a lot more cards and I would definitely want to bait it out. But uh, well, it's to definitely honest, fair. Well, mm. set himself up for a very bad... That was actually kind of a bad play, to be honest. He set himself up for a lightning storm there that you actually see happen. And, um... Sifra, he still has decent cards in hand. Oh, Gadget Sound Machine. talking about it. Yeah. yeah. I know, yeah. too, yeah, he can play his Azure Drakes and stuff like that, but... Uh... Sifra has the perfect response with the... Uh, the... Uh, the the Argent Commander. Yeah, I, I, I guess so. And um, right now, it seems like uh, there's no way he could really effectively pick off the Mana Tide Totem except for the SI7 Agent. But even then, he will not hit enough mana for the Hero Power. So he's going to be lack on one damage. And that means that the Mana Tide Totem is definitely going to give Silver an extra card. It's like 100% net pay goal. Man, who's going to hit that shit? Mm -hmm. you, can, you can never hit it. It's just so good. It's kind of funny to see... Uh, usually, whenever I play Arena, and sometimes I play Priests, I always get that Cabal Shadow Priest because uh, it's so good in stealing things like this, mm -hmm. especially when it's late game uh, or it's middle game. It's just like you get you get a four five drop, and then you get a Mana Tide Totem as well. It's like pretty insane, especially if you set up a taunt after that. It's pretty awesome. Oh, stuff. Yeah. Yep. The Azure Drake gets addressed straight up, and Mana Tide Totem is gonna give an extra Fire Elemental. To Silver. Now for Ooh. item 2, he gets a hate crack though, and that's gonna start cracking a hate of Silver. The problem is, can he do so before he dies completely? That's the question. He's gonna play the SS7 agent to address the Argent Commander, and also gonna Shadow Step it again to play it again. Now, this is a pretty good play here. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's sudden. Um, I think it was kind of the obvious play here. He has, and then he has the ability to head crack as well. Head crack and hit his face, yep. So, it's gonna get to a point where eventually. I know she was just gonna rely mostly on the head crack, but uh, mm -hmm. Cipher, Cipher in this next turn, he's gonna be able to clear off the the both minions with the fire elemental, and uh, he can set himself up for a Gadgetson play later. Unless of course he's plan yeah he's planning to do the dogs on top of the uh, on top of the unbound elemental. He needs to remember he's gonna be taking three damage every single turn right now minimally. Well, the th the thing is, uh, he doesn't really know what's in hand for I know. Whoa, hex? Seriously? Uh, that's not a card worthy of a hex, but I guess I, he I wants guess to so save the docks, yeah. No, that's not the only thing. He also wants to make sure that I know is not able to pull off any more combos with that, with that uh, with the battle cry ability from the sorry not battle cry the combo ability from the uh SI agent because it is it's battle cry, pretty, but anyway. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> well, whatever. I mean, it's, it's it's still pretty good. Uh, here he should actually just he could betrayal. Mhm. Mm hmm. Okay, let's see what can we do here. That could be pretty devastating, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a bit he, wasteful he needs, though. He needs a way to kill the other the other taunt. He needs the betrayal. Okay. He's gonna play knife jock here. Yeah, he needs to play the knife jug. He can hear a power to address the 2-1. Oh, 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 nope, he's not going to do that. Okay. Uh, conceal? I don't know. He could conceal. He's he could conceal and... Well, he doesn't need it. I mean, anyways, he has a taunt. Yeah. Taunt well. up, but, one of his, but his knife jug is definitely going to die here. Yep, it I is. Don't, I, I don't think he... And he's... The thing is... um. 
he's not gonna lose. I mean, Sifir is not gonna lose the creep unless, of course, uh, Sifir is gonna try to kill off the knife jack. Uh, uh, not sorry, not the knife jack. The uh, what's it called? The uh, Azure Drake. Oh, here comes the big spells, man. It could be an uh, I don't know, man. It could be an Earth Shock straight up if you place the if you place the Azure Drake, you can Earth Shock into the um into the knife jack or yeah, nah, he kill, he's instantly kill the knife jack and run the four three into the four four. There we go, and run the five three into the face. He gets a lot of damage out, and now Iron Omchu is set back very, very far behind Iron because he has nothing that he can do. I'm actually surprised, but uh, his Blood Knight is the only. This is the only Blood Knight I think is in his deck, and I think he 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 put it in there only because of the fact that uh, he's a little bit afraid of things like uh, Sunwalker and stuff like that. I feel like he could have actually put another card in there besides the Blood Knight, to be honest. I guess, and. Uh... I mean, we're now looking at still the third game, and it's been a really long series. I mean, this series by itself, it's... Okay, we started at about 8.45, so maybe not that long after all. But, um... We are looking at Ainomchu getting completely controlled in this situation by the Control Shaman, and in general, the hate crack is not used as effectively as it could be used. Um, still, we are looking at the Flame Tongue Totem getting addressed. At least that's going to be a bit of a heave of relief for Ainomchu. Yeah, for sure. Uh, here though, he can actually effectively keep one minion on the board. Doesn't need to worry too much. Uh, he can actually, oh no, actually he can keep both his minions. Look at that, he still has the Fire Elemental. That's the, that's definitely the play he should play here. Yep. Fire Elemental, huh? Oh, oh, he doesn't like that one, he uh, likes he, the he, right he one. Yeah. No, no, it's, uh, this is correct. Uh, this is just to avoid things like uh, uh, Betrayal. So that's actually a really good play. Uh, he actually wow. uses the taunt onto the as you uh, wind the fury. Taunt, sorry, the wind fury here, yeah. which means he will have probably control. game. Yep, it is definitely game here. Assassinate he has comes out, but mm -hmm. that's not gonna help him. That no, but it's it. not. It's gonna concede. So, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this series is gonna be Silver. Did, did you just say silver or silver? Silver. I said silver. Did why would I say silver? Sounds like it sounds like silver, but anyways, congratulations to him, man. I mean, uh, he. Do you he, think he deserved that? I think he did. Uh, yeah, definitely. That was actually, to be honest, for a while it seemed like quite a close match, but yeah. Either way, it's really well played by him. Uh, he well deserving victory for him. I'm sure he tried his best though. Uh, he had a good performance with his previous uh, against and uh, not 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 with his previous, but against the previous deck from Cipher there. At least being able to draw it out to a third game. But yeah. Yep, so ladies and gentlemen, that would conclude the series between Silver as well as I'm sure the winner is going to be Silver here. So Silver as well as um, Wen Sushi is now up by one game each, and we're going to be covering the next game. I do believe the next game is going to be between. I'm sure. Toki and Ainom Chu. Yep. It's right, that's great. Interesting round. Yep. It's gonna be an interesting round. So we'll see you guys in just about five to ten minutes again to take a short break. This is Babel, Jeremy's Lark, see you guys and show all.